It was day four of our cruise on Royal Caribbean's Explorer of the Seas. It was Port Day in Falmouth, Jamaica. However you say that, I don't know how you say it, right? We all woke up exhausted that morning and had a snorkeling excursion booked. So it was going to be interesting to see how this day was going to play out. We are in Falmouth, Jamaica, getting ready to do a Discovery <laughs> snorkel party boat. We're going to have a part of Jamaica, yo! Today's a port day in Jamaica. We booked this last minute excursion, so I hope it doesn't suck. I think we're getting on a catamaran and doing like a snorkeling excursion, I believe is what we're doing. I'm not sure what this entails because we booked it so last minute. We gotta leave very soon. Here we come, Jamaica. We are gonna go on a Discovery snorkel party boat, which they classify as a party boat as on the way back from snorkeling, they play music. So that sounds like our kind of party. We booked our excursion last night and right after I booked it, it sold out. I went down to the shore excursion uh, desk and she said, you just book it right on your phone. If the excursion has restrictions on the ages, it will not allow you to register the person that is under age. So a lot of these excursions are for ages six and above. Well, our little guy's like a month and oh, two weeks away from being six, so he doesn't qualify for a lot of the excursions, but this specific one he did, so we'll see how it goes. But it was super simple to book on your phone on the app. There were people up there this morning trying to book excursions and there were still some excursions available, so don't give up. If you wanna do something last minute, just go to guest services or do it on your app. Hello, Jamaica! It was a beautiful morning in Jamaica. When we got off the ship, we had an envelope that had all of the directions on what to do on port to get to our station. Very helpful. The port is pretty easy to navigate. There are signs saying the name of the excursion and the station that you're going to, and there's staff everywhere if you need help. We just followed the directions, and it was super simple to get to. It is a little bit of a walk. Are we in Jamaica? The Jamaica me happy mind. He's proud of his joke, his dad joke. Station two. We are at our station. Um, we had to get off the boat and walk a little bit, not too far, to our station two. Looks like they have some nice shopping in here too. So when we're done with this one, we go and shop. Yeah, we have Adrian didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. And then we got up kind of early. For him, he needs a little bit more sleep than what he got today. But he was a trooper. Yeah, I'm tired. Puerto Seco Beach Park is located in Discovery Bay. And it is a 30-minute drive from the Port of Falmouth. So we get to the beach park and they had free Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi password posted right there in the front entrance for all the guests. When we arrived at Puerto Seco Beach, we noticed the beautiful beaches, absolutely stunning water. The beach was beautiful. The beach park had water sports and activities along with a restaurant, bar, and a pool. So we go straight to the catamaran. Um, there was an aqua park um, that has all the inflatables. It was just really covered in algae. Needed a good scrubbing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> When everyone got on the boat, they instructed us where the restrooms were and told us that the bar would be open to serve alcoholic beverages after our snorkel. Drinks were all included, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. We sailed out into the open waters not too far from where we were docked. Yeah, baby! The crew provided life vests and complete snorkel gear. The best way to wear your life jacket when snorkeling is not the way I was doing it. You actually want to wear it around your waist if you're a good swimmer. They had a limited blue vest that you see others wearing, but you can wear a normal life vest around your waist for the same effect. I missed it. What? <laughs> I missed it. I think I, think I missed it. I'll come up again. again. I'll come up again. Okay. <laughs> We went snorkeling, it was really fun. I didn't jump in or anything. I got in the water. It was a little cloudy in Jamaica, but not too bad. It seems like every time I pulled the camera out, the cloud would go over the sun. But it really was just kind of on and off. I 
I kind of wish we would have followed the guide on the snorkeling event. The idea here is that you're supposed to follow your guide and they'll take you to the best spots. But once you put your face in the water, it's easy to lose the instructor, especially with that many people in the group. We were more worried about trying to stay together. We were impressed with how well Adric was doing in the water. Adric did so good. I was so proud of him. So everything was going great. Absolutely wonderful, beautiful waters, pretty calm waters. And then all of a sudden. And that's when everything changed. I felt really scared. And uh, the waves hit and that was when. The waters were a little bit um, choppy at times. I saw some things. It's the waves. The waves. Is that why? They were in my eyes. The waves started coming in and then he started getting a little scared. I think the passing boats were bringing in waves. They weren't very big, but it was big enough for a five-year-old. The waves were hitting him in the face and making it hard for him to swim. And the waves started kind of hitting his face. He took his mask off. He got it in his eyes and in his mouth, and it just went downhill from there. Um, so he started getting really scared and started like screaming. And So I wanted to go back in because I was thinking I can wear mommy's goggles on the boat. It was pretty much over with at that point. He wanted to go back to the boat. Adric, he did great for about the first five, 10 minutes, and then he started to get a little bit tired. And then he wanted to take a nap on the boat. You can get overwhelmed with that. The key to it is to relax yourself and float at the top. You don't want to fight it. You don't want to like, you don't want to be sitting like this, right? You don't want to be like this. You want to just flatten yourself out and kind of float along the top and just kind of kick your feet and skim across the top of the water. And also just take easy breaths. Sometimes people get a little worked up in those kind of situations and, and just enjoy what you're seeing. I didn't see as much as I could have seen because I didn't, just didn't explore as much. I was worried about what was going on with Adric and all that stuff, but I thought it was a good spot. I was, I, w I was pretty happy with the experience. I went on snorkeling excursions and seen a lot less. I will say that. And I probably could have seen more. I just, that's up to you. Cause some people just give up, like their mask is leaking. You want to make sure your mask is nice and airtight. You want to get all that stuff adjusted before you get in the water. Make sure it's nice and tight. Someone like me that has a mustache, this is bad because this mustache creates an air gap. Anytime you have hair, if you have long hair, if you're a woman, you want to have your hair pulled back. You don't want your hair getting in between your mask because any if your hair gets in your mask right there, that creates a leakage and you'll get water in your mask. We saw a lot more than what we captured with our cameras. The water was much clearer than what it appears, but it was cloudy and action cams are terrible with low light. I think we missed the best spots of the area because we didn't follow the guide. So my best advice is to try and keep up with the guides. I was a little concerned that we were getting on a party boat because we have Adric. However, so it's far, like, it's like a good mix of family friendly and party. Yep, I agree. I recommend. Yes, me too. In the snorkel, it wasn't. It wasn't off. Like there, we saw fish. I saw a sea urchin. We saw more today than we did in Mexico our whole trip. Yeah, yeah. And everyone on the boat is very kind. They let you jump off the boat. Yep, you can dive off the boat. You can jump off the boat. <laughs> But they're still letting people snorkel and everyone, there's only a few in the water and they're not rushing them out. So up next, the beach. I was tired of drinking seawater. I was ready for some rum punch. Once we got back on the boat, then the party happened and they kicked it up a notch. And the rum came out, the rum punch. They turned up some music and people were dancing on the boat, having a good time. The rum punch started to hit people a little bit. I think people didn't realize that Jamaican rum punch is the real deal. James and I already knew that. So we were good, we were good boys and girls. But Jamaican rum punch is the real deal. Like I'm pretty convinced that they just pour bottles of liquor in and then the next bottle and then the next bottle. Rum punch, baby. Watch out for the rum punch. You think it's not as bad as it really is and a lot of times this rum punch packs a punch. Next thing you know. People were dancing and I was not. 
I mean, yes, I was for a second. I was dancing at the back of the boat. I was like, <laughs> Adric started dancing. We started having a good time. One of the crewmates gave Adric something for his Crocs. Oh, yeah. One of those little gem things for his Crocs. She got me a little star for my Croc. It was a party then. And next thing you know, it's like. When you have a wonderful sound system, a beautiful view, and rum punch, what more could you expect? This catamaran just turned into like. Complete dance party for all ages. Kids were dancing, adults were dancing, older people were dancing. It was a great time. The crew was amazing. They were teaching us all how to do all these dances and they were leading the party. And the speakers are thumping as we're going back to the beach. They did a conga line all the way across the boat and just everyone just got involved. They stood up on the stern of the boat and just taught us how to do all these dances. It was all family appropriate. It was such a great time. Jamaicans know how to party. And then we had about an hour to kill at the beautiful beach. We went back to the um, different beach and we um I went swimming. Yeah, baby! Let's rock and roll! The water was beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Um, so the kids got to enjoy that. We got in the water and swam a little bit. Uh, the beach water is very clear and it was blue, very bright blue. And how do you make sea water? What? How do you make sea water? You got some vendors walking around at that beach. Actually, most of them were all in the water. Some of them were selling necklaces, whatever. You know, you have vendors. They're just trying to make a living. But yeah, I wonder if there's like a rule they don't want them on the beach because I didn't see any of them on the beach. They're all in the water on boats and stuff. The beach was really fun. We liked it. I was going underwater with my sister's goggles. I love it. Are you good? Hey guys. Oh, we'll be back to Jamaica. Jamaica is one of my favorite places. I think the reason that I like Jamaica so much is because Jamaica is very go with the flow. I love Jamaica. Highly recommend coming to Jamaica. First of all, my kid wants to do this aqua thing. I have no desire. All I want to do is just chill on. <laughs> Every time I hit record, the sun goes behind a cloud. So it's like a cloud, it's a cloudy day today. Yes, man. Oh, it looks so handsome. <laughs> Hello. So that rum punch starts to you. That rum punch back. Rum punch is nothing to mess with. How many did you have? Ooh. She had more than two, because she chugged one of them. And then we got back on the bus. There were some people throwing up. But one guy right in front of us, he was throwing up the whole bus ride home in a trash bag. Now you may think Rum punch is rum punch, right? But Jamaicans do something special to their rum punch. Yo, Jamaican rum punch is fire. When we got back to the port, we went, did a little bit of shopping. I actually really liked the port. We got Adric a pretty cool sword. He write my name. The coolest part about it is they hand carved his name right there for him. And we watched him do it. But it looks really cool too. He did it really well. I like little things like this because it's like something that you can keep forever. Even after Adric is done beating it up and playing with it, it's still more than just a toy. It's a memory. Cork got a little turtle. They engraved her name. And it was pretty cheap, so yeah, I liked it. Right there. Uh-huh, they carved your name out. You just pick out whatever one you want and then he carved your name. Yeah. Got Adric a hat so we don't have to worry about his face burning anymore. And then there was like a long line of people and I walked up and I'm like, is this the beer line? And he's trying to go, no. The line to get back on the ship was like all the way down the port, around the stuff, down some more, around some more stuff. I don't even know where it went. Dude, it was so long. I have never been in a line that long. Walked halfway around the port to get in line to get back on the ship. <laughs> This was, this was worse than the Miami port. The Miami port was not as long, um, but it was a little bit jacked up like this too, so I don't know. I liked it, it was really pretty. The water's I pretty. like, the water's he likes Jamaica, raise your hand. 
Yeah. And then I like all the music. You like the everywhere. music? It's really upbeat and fun. <laughs> Jamaica, fun as always. We've, me and Brandy at least have been to Jamaica before. Just as fun as I remember it. I'm excited about the rest of our night. I thought I was gonna blow away there for a minute. So pretty. This is the view I love. We just left Jamaica and I'm already missing it. Brandy's still in the room sleeping with Adrian. I'm like the only one out here. I'm gonna lie here by myself. I took a 45 minute nap. I am ready to go. I'm ready. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying today. The weather has been really great. Okay, so I woke Brandy up. I had a great nap. Adric still sleeping. No problem, Mom. We had a great day in Jamaica. We do love Jamaica. Even though at home our schedules are very busy, I like to be calm, cool, and collected. I don't like to get worked up. Everything is, it is what it is. Enjoy it, enjoy life. That is Jamaica. And I think that's why I like Jamaica so much. I can't wait to come back. This was James and I first experience by ourselves on the ship. Um, so we took full advantage, walked around, took a look at the promenade, um, found like the little alcoves that you can look over the promenade. And had a couple drinks and listened to some live music as Adric and Cora got a roundup in the room. So that was kind of nice. We haven't got to get away for a little while. You know, when you take five-year-olds, um, that kind of is part of the part of the deal. You don't get away much uh, by yourself. So he woke up his normal crazy self, which we haven't seen his normal crazy self in a couple of days. So. Tonight was a good night for us. We went down and got a whole pizza. Looks like it's pizza tonight. On the deck, there's the, all these egg chairs and they were all open, so we decided to just hang out in one, enjoy the family time. Cora was off gallivanting around with her teenage friends. There must be some kind of party going on tonight because uh, the bar is open down at the Lido deck. Brandy, the pool bar is still open. There's a party on the Lido deck today. Go on this ship. It's the best ship ever. Clearly the long day had set in and Adric was just at a goofy stage and my husband just plays right along. Okay, here we go. This one? My feet always smell good, so I don't know what they were expecting on the sniffing of the feet. That's gross. I ain't doing that. I'm doing that. She wants me to eat it. No, I'm not eating feet. You crossed the line, dude. No! Break in me! Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Smell mom's feet. <laughs> They actually smell good. Is Cora out there? It was a long day and we had Haiti in the morning, so we wanted to make sure we were well rested for our port day in Labadee, Haiti. We're going to bed now. If you can't tell I'm tired. And we are going to wake up tomorrow morning in Labadee, Haiti. Yeah, I'm excited about Haiti because I have heard wonderful things. I've heard Labadee is beautiful. I cannot wait to go shopping in Labadee. And I cannot wait to check out the Labadee beaches. Haiti, yo! This should be the yeah. ending. This should be the ending. We'll see you in Haiti tomorrow, yo. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.